stable coins are one of the most important concepts in blockchain, especially in DeFi, with an estimated $170 billion in market cap in 2021. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Stefan, and on Eat the Block, we help Web2 developers transition into Web3. So the first stablecoin was issued in 2014. It was a concept for creating a crypto asset that could maintain a stable price by keeping $1 in reserve for every coin issued. Since then, more mechanisms have emerged and are essentially fiat-based, crypto-based, or have been using algorithms with some variation in between. Now, fiat-backed stablecoins are the easiest one. Just like USDT, for each coin issued, there is one fiat currency in reserve, like dollar, euro, yen, etc. Here, the the reserves are maintained by central entities that regularly audit their funds and work with regulators for compliance. For users, it means going through KYC and AML checks. Cryptocurrency-backed stablecoins. No surprise here, those ones are backed by other cryptocurrencies. They use automated smart contracts and are more decentralized. They are usually issued to launch one asset on a different blockchain, like WBTC, to have Bitcoin on the Ethereum network. Now, algorithmic stablecoins use complex algorithms to keep their price stable. Essentially, they rebalance the number of tokens in circulation if the stablecoin value deviates too much from the underlying currency currency or commodity. For example, Terra uses its native stacking token Luna as its asset in reserve and $1 worth of Luna is burned for every Terra USD minted. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. In general, stable coins bring the stability of fiat currencies to the blockchain while being more secure and more transparent. They allow for cheaper transaction than fiat currencies. They give access to financial products and services on the blockchain. You can earn higher yields than conventional saving accounts and it makes cross-border payments faster and cheaper. Now for the cons, if centralized, there is the counterparty risk, meaning the issuer may not have the reserves they claim to have and may refuse to redeem tokens for the reserves. Some issuers may even freeze the funds on some addresses like it was the case in 2020. In some cases, users might pay a risk premium during market turmoil or auditing issues. Algorithmic stablecoins can often lead to Ponzi schemes. Also, some algorithmic stablecoins are known for losing their peg during rare events, also called the black swan, where the market gets very volatile. I hope you now have a better understanding of the three major types of stablecoin. There is much more to learn about this fascinating technology and many developers make expensive mistakes in the smart contract. Check out our other videos to learn the best practices and how you can lose your coin. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.